Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number eight of exercise five point three. And the question says, find the sum of first fifty one terms of an AP whose second and the third term are fourteen and eighteen respectively. So, an AP is given to you. If I consider the first term as A, the second term is given to you as fourteen, and the third term is given to you as eighteen. and this is till 51 terms so you have to find the sum of first 51 terms so these are 51 terms and you have to find the sum of these terms so if this is the second term so obviously i have added 4 to get the third term so one thing is clear that the common difference must be equals to 4 so the first number must be equals to 10 then only If this number is ten, then only I'll add four and I'll get the second number. So here, the first number must be equals to ten. Now you have to find. First of all, you have to find the fifty-one term. So let's find the fifty-one term. So the to find the nth term, we have a formula. This is the formula to find out the nth term, and in this case. You have to find the fifty-one term. So, first term is ten. The number of terms are fifty-one, and the common difference here is four. So this will be equal to ten plus this will be equal to fifty, and fifty into four is two hundred. And so, the fifty-one terms, the fifty-one term should be equal to two hundred and ten. So, the last term here is two hundred and ten of this AP. Now you have to find the sum of this AP. To find out the sum of nth term, again we have a formula. We just have to put substitute the values here. We have to find the sum of fifty-one terms. So the number of terms is fifty-one, and the first term is ten, and the fifty-one term is two hundred and ten. So this is two hundred and ten. Now I can solve this. This is fifty one upon two. This when added is two hundred and twenty, and this can be cancelled eleven times one hundred and ten. So the sum of fifty one terms must be equals to fifty one multiplied by one hundred and ten. So this must be equals to. Uh, at the last there is a zero, so I can add a zero. I can multiply eleven by fifty one, and the result will be the answer. So eleven into one is eleven. Carry one. Eleven into five is fifty-five, and carry one. The, so that will become fifty-six. So the sum of fifty-one terms will be equals to five six one zero. So this should be the answer for this question. So this is how we can solve this. I have. Uh, I hope you have understood this question. If you have any problem, you can contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.